Hey, adventurers, guess what? You can pop on over to DarthDabs.com. Use the promo code SLAP. Get 15% off a rig, a bong, a bubbler, anything. The holidays are coming up, and guess what? Grandma wants to get high this Christmas. Yeah, weed's legal in her state now. It's going to help her out. It's going to help her vision. It's going to help with pain. It's, she's going to chill out, man. You're going to have a cool yeah. grandma. Her whole attitude is going to be better. This Christmas, it is, it, it is a good time to pick up some really nice, beautiful, high-quality glass. We've had bongs and bubblers sent to the show. Beautiful, beautiful glass shipped very carefully. I mean, because it's intact. Yeah. Nothing broken. Absolutely. <laughs> no, bro. If you want to if you want a box of broken glass, then you go to bubblerdepot.com. But if oh, you want yeah. if you want some quality. Non broken glass <laughs> <laughs> to get high, to get your grandma high. <laughs> go to Darth dot com. Do it for grandma. Grandma, grandma's gonna love you. Promo code SLAP, 15% off. Slap your grandma! DarthDabs.com. You are Sorrentino. I am John Saluga. <laughs> We're in the Jersey Wing this week. We're back in the Jersey Wing, drinking simpler times. Simpler times. I was told this was a real dad beer, and I was like, well, yeah. I'm a... the daddest beer of them all. But we're a couple of real dads. We are. Drinking real beer. Beer. Yeah, they don't get more real dad than us. No. Cracking open a can on a Friday night. Mm-hmm. Talking about fishing. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the fishing podcast. I want to go fishing. I haven't fished in a long time. I, you know what it is? I was a guy that enjoyed fishing when I was when someone took me. Okay. Now I'm the guy that has to take somebody else fishing. I'll take you. You'll take me fishing. I'll take you. I went. Uh, I mean, not recently, but within the last few years with Cub Scouts. Yeah. I think it might have been like before COVID. Did you catch anything? No, we saw a big turtle. Okay. And, and the whole day just became about trying to like find this giant turtle. I mean, this thing was huge. It wasn't a ninja. No. It wasn't a mutant. But it my, was might have been a teenager. Yeah. Not sure. Okay. I'm not sure. He did he did say some swear words and took off towards the mall. <laughs> so he could have been a teenager. I I don't know if this is a skill that I that I really can brag about. I'm but I, I'm very good at finding turtles. <laughs> Oh, wait, where? Just like randomly anywhere? No, if I go out to a lake, whenever oh, I go to a, a lake, a lake like... or a pond or something, I, I'm good at like finding turtles, catching turtles. I was a, I love turtles as a kid. I know. I, know I caught turtles. It was a turtle I used to catch every summer that had I named him Raphael. He had one eye. Yeah. And I knew you had to get him. You had to get him on the side where he was missing the eye. I never saw you coming. You know, it's real crazy in those um, the Archie Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles adventure comics. Yeah. Some of my favorite comic books. So like, you know, like Archie comics, Archie and Jughead and Veronica and those jerks. Uh, <laughs> they 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 pub they had the license for Ninja Turtles and like they would kind of adapt the cartoon maybe for like the first like few issues. And then they went off on their own storyline, which is one of the coolest things. If you ever get a chance, read them. And they Yeah, I never did. Oh, they're great. And then in, in the future, they cut to the future and you see what the turtles look like in the future. And Raphael has one eye. And I didn't know that yeah, when yeah. I named I just named him after my favorite. How cool is that? Look at that. You were uh you're way ahead of your time. I always assumed somebody was fishing and, and hooked him, but I but I don't know. Oh, that's a bad way to lose an eye. Fish but he's hook tough. Right he to got eye. away, man. A one eyed turtle's cool. It, all he had to worry about was two boys from Staten Island that came <laughs> once every summer yeah. to spend a week with their grandparents. Bebop and Rock Steady. We found him every time in Huggy Bear Lake. <laughs> Huggy Bear Lake. I loved Huggy Bear Lake. Anything to do with Starsky and Hutch? I don't know. I don't know who named the lake. I bet it was Huggy Bear from Starsky. Maybe and Hutch. one of them lived up there. Old man Starsky or. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> or older man Hutch. <laughs> older man Hutch. <laughs> Which one's older? I don't know. Who I knows? never watched Starsky and Hutch. Did you ever see the movie? No, I With, never like, saw it. Owen I heard Wilson and Ben uh, what's Stiller. Ben Stiller. Yeah, I never saw it. No. No, I heard it was funny. People yeah, it's liked it. Funny, yeah. But I never. That's not a show that I grew up with. No, it was a little before our time. Yeah, right. A Team, Knight Rider, Dukes of Hazard. That was our show. Those were our shows, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah, those were our times. Oh, I loved it. I remember there was a Halloween Night Rider that really scared me. It was like a kind of a spooky ghost kind of. Was, was it the bad Night Rider? It was like it was like Michael Knight with a goatee and a bad kit. I don't think so. I think this was like a ghost episode. It's very, fun. but again, I was a kid that wasn't allowed to watch anything. So mm-hmm. just a go- just the idea of a ghost freaked me out. Apparently, your kids my- too. How is how is Halloween, my- man? Halloween, yeah. My daughter definitely inherited that. I every year I let my kids pick my costume. Yeah. That's like that's a thing I said I would always do, and whatever they pick, I'll wear it. We talked about this. It's your thing. They picked a ghost for me. You were worried I would look like a member of the clan well, if yeah. I cut holes in a sheet. You saw the pictures. I don't look like a member of the clan. No, you don't. You definitely don't. I and 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 I I wore a white long sleeve shirt and white gloves and I got a white bed sheet. The gloves were a nice touch. By you the like way. the right? Yeah. I think you got to have Yeah. White gloves make me laugh. They always creeped me out when somebody was like a Mickey costume or something. You ever feel like a like a white felt gloved costume character touch you when you were a kid or something. I never liked it. Only in or the a... downstairs reach. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like a white glove, but I liked wearing a white glove. <laughs> <laughs> now like... I have the power. Now, I... <laughs> now I'm the creep. <laughs> it's like a thing like a magician would have at one mm-hmm. time. Such a bad idea. I mean, I couldn't. Me and all white, I'm like, this is going to be filthy and. Oh my god! Like three seconds after oh. my first Reese's, I'm done. Yeah, that <laughs> looked like I wiped my ass, <laughs> my hand. Yeah, I was eating chocolate. I'm carrying pumpkins around. I was like, I, you know, and a two year old and a four year old. And yeah, yeah, I was just, I was just, I was just a dirty bed sheet real fast. It's a filthy ghost. My daughter, who's two and a half, watched me take the sheet out of a package because I didn't have I ordered a white sheet online Mm -hmm. because I didn't have like just a white sheet we have all patterns and stuff and I she watched me cut the holes in it and I did it real sloppy I kind of wanted it to be shitty and then she watched me put it on and lost I turned into a ghost and she (laughs) lost her fucking mind I posted it on Instagram Christine got video of it and I had to take it off, and she just kept saying, "No ghost, dad, dad, no ghost." Somebody in the Discord, one of the one of the members of the little chub club, made a ghost dad reference, and I was so mad that I didn't do like a hashtag ghost dad. Yeah, because I was, I was ghost well, dad. You don't want to be associated with ghost dad. I'm the new ghost. I'm taking it, dude. The new ghost dad, mm-hmm. white ghost dad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the new ghost dad. Good luck. I don't know. That's a scary thing to attach yourself to. I mean, first of all, he's a dad. That's kind of scary. Second of all, he's a ghost. That's very scary. But third of all, it's Bill Cosby, and that's the scariest of all. Yeah. Listen, if you don't know, if you don't know about Ghost Dad, uh, you'll see a lot of memes and clips when Cosby dies. Uh, that's, that's, <laughs> that's when it'll. Yeah. That's when yeah. you'll see Ghost yeah. Dad will be everywhere. Yeah, he's gonna be like cut into like going to be like ghost dad and then it's going to like straight cut to like a woman passed out <laughs> oh jesus <laughs> and he's going to say boo who did that it'll be like that scene in ghostbusters yes but a lot scarier <laughs> just way With ray getting a blowjob scene yeah but instead it'll be a lady half asleep yeah yeah, yeah. not good oh no. oh halloween oh. monster well i took the ghost costume off and then I was like, I, I was going trick or treating with the kids, and I was like, I got to do something. So I went and I grabbed the the mullet wig, the classic, the cousin Harry wig, everyone's favorite. And I put the wig on, and I did it with no shirt on. A very very rare move for me. I included that in, in the Instagram post. V shirtless, you good with my hairy chest out. You looked good. I'm sucking it all. You know, whatever. Yeah, I yeah, I know. But you look good. Scared my son, who <laughs> I don't think I ever talked about this. My my son hates when I have a shirt. He's freaked out by chest hair. 
Oh, and, don't, don't send him to my house. And he's just like, he's like. Chest hair all over the floor. <laughs> yeah, well, he know, he always talks about how hairy you are. It's like a thing. He doesn't, he doesn't yeah. like body hair. And now I have a mullet wig and I had no shirt on and I chased him around the house. <laughs> and he's going, no hair, you're too hairy, too hairy. And he was Captain America and I'm going, I'm Captain Harry and I want your candy. And I'm <laughs> He's like him around. Captain, I'm Captain Argentina. <laughs> and he was like freaked out, but he was like, he's older. He's four. He was like, it was like a thing. He was like giggling, but like he didn't want me to touch him. Like sometimes he'll come in my bedroom in the morning and I'll be like under the sheet and like he'll want to like climb into bed. And when he sees like I don't have a shirt on, he's like, <laughs> he fucking hates it. He tells me all the time. He's like, when I grow up, I want to be a mommy, not a daddy. I was like, why? He's like, daddy's, they're hairy. They get, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be hairy. I want to be a mommy. Yeah, I was like, some some mommies are hairy, pal. That's what I told him, and that's not not what he wanted to hear. Don't marry an Italian chick, son. Because <laughs> you know what? That's a spicy meat to balla, kid. <laughs> Nothing wrong with it, but I had to let him know. So then I thought I would combine the two. That was my idea. I was like, I'll make the ghost costume. I'll cover the chest hair. Mm -hmm. I'll put the ghost costume on, but I'll put the mullet wig on top of the ghost mullet costume. Ghost. And everybody will love it. Yeah. You're the, you're, uh, the, the ghost of... Uh... Ghost of the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> you're the, the ghost of Shawn Michaels. <laughs> I'm just a sexy ghost. Sexy ghost. Yeah, I look like I would like haunt a hockey rink or something. Oh, know? for real? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like... <laughs> man. Oh, fuck yeah. Well, Ben thought it was funny, and if and if you if you listen in that video, you can hear Ben giggling and me giggling and my wife giggling. My daughter, who was screaming all morning just because she was in a mood, mm -hmm. and she's a screamer, and I always she has never screamed louder. Really? And you hear it on that video. I mean, it's like yeah. my neighbor later was like, what happened? Who was like, what happened it's over Halloween, there? Halloween, buddy. Here's my Halloween miracle. She lost her voice. <laughs> and it's still not back. Still? She can talk, but it's like she has that like raspy voice. And now when she tries to scream, it's like a quarter of the volume. And it's not that pitch that causes a panic attack in yeah, me. Yeah, good. And I'm it's the best thing I ever did. <laughs> nice. I'm sorry. I listen, I wasn't trying to scare her, but that is the benefit of a kid who screams all the time, like blew her vocal cords out. And the only reason it's not better yet is she still because she's a kid that screams, is still trying to scream. Perfect. So, yeah. So she's just can't like, throw that ghost costume out. You got to wear it once a week. I know. I threatened to bring it out the other day. She was acting. No, like, you threatened her with the ghost costume. I did. Simpler I, times. I threatened her. I what like, a you, dad. You want ghost dad? <laughs> <laughs> you threatened her with ghost dad. <laughs> Wait till she gets older and finds out that Bill Cosby <laughs> played Ghost Dad. And she told my dad would threaten me by saying Ghost Dad was going to come out and get me. And she was like, no Ghost Dad, dad. He's, no Ghost Dad. He's dad. offer me a drink. <laughs> <laughs> no Ghost Dad. No Ghost Dad. <laughs> you better call it Ghost Dad Busters. <laughs> <laughs> My Instagram, it was really funny because I posted us doing the trunk or treat thing yeah. where I decorated the car and I literally had like comments where like, what a great dad, like what a great dad. And it's me you just being like dad. being a great dad. But the next thing I posted was me scaring <laughs> the fuck out of a little girl who's dressed like Sky from Paw Patrol. You, there's so many things in that video that make me laugh. Part of it is like my two year old daughter's run is a is a funny run. Yeah. But she also had goofy dog ears bouncing. <laughs> the screaming was like my house sounded like a zoo. And you don't quite see me as the ghost. There's like just like a few frames mm -hmm. where you actually see that I have a mullet wig on top of yeah. it. I, I it's the it was it's brilliant. It was it was uh I, I, I felt my I wasn't trying to scare her. I really, really wasn't. And as long as that video was, that's as long as it went on before that whole costume came off, and I then had to trick or treat as a as a pumpkin. That's fun. 
And I said it in the post, but I even said to Christine, I was like, I, I look like a Fruit of the Loom reject. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. And if you look at me in that photo, I'm not sucked. You can see my fat 41-year-old neck and my sad, defeated- <laughs> my- Pumpkin neck. Yeah. I was hot in a mullet wig, uh, but you became come Pumpkin Pete. Just a, yeah, Pumpkin. No one wants to fuck Pumpkin Pete, man. Oh, no, never. I carved my pumpkins from the bottom, Chris. I did I know. it. And a tip that I saw is here's a pumpkin tip, secondhand pumpkin tip. Uh, you want to cut when you go around, you want to cut a little notch in it so you know how to line it up. Yeah. When you put it on there. Secondhand pumpkin tips from Ghost Dev. There you go. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, but all I need to do is just have that sheet like in a pile in the corner. Mm-hmm. And when she acts up, I go, you want me to <laughs> You want me to put that on? Oh, see, I would I'd full on put on a mannequin and just like leave it in the corner of a room. <laughs> when I want to be left alone. Yeah. Like the next time I'm trying to like write an email and she's just like up my ass. I'll just like ghost that ghost that it's, I'm busy putting the sheet on. <laughs> Busy being ghost dad. <laughs> hey, it's, it's, it sounds like fun, man. It sounds like a fun Halloween. It's fun, but she's very she's very afraid of me with a sheet on me. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. But, she's hey. scared of you dying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I'm not providing. What am I doing? Nothing. Yeah, nobody wants you to go. Oh, thanks, yeah. pal. Yeah. Aw, so I I had a I had a uh, uh not 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 a crazy uh Halloween everything was kind of normal, but I so I dressed like Quint from Jaws right we we talked about this I was gonna do this you look so good you still look good thank you oh you I still got my yeah so I I shaved my beard for this and I got like the mustache and the mutton chops and. I chugged. You hooked me up with some of the uh, the Gansets, some of the Nar- Narragansetts, the uh, 75 those, editions. Those classic ones, yeah. And I chugged one down and put the video. I tweeted the video to Narragansett, and they fucking retweeted it. They you were, said that, and I was like, they ha- how could they not? They're real happy about it. You look I great. Was happy about I, right? Thank you. I looked good. I looked just like Robert Shaw playing Quint. Yeah. And where. We're trick or treating, and some some of the parents knew. You know what I mean? They're like, "Oh, cool, good, good call." You know, of course, younger kids aren't really gonna know. Sure. And we go to this one house, and this guy, his eyes light up, and he sees me. I'm like, "Oh, here we go." And he goes, "Oh my god, you look exactly like John Belushi." <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fucking kidding. He's right. Yeah. <laughs> I, know. I was like, yeah, thanks. That's the permanent oh. costume. Oh, you're Belushi as Quint. Oh, you need paper towels? Yeah, wait, wait. I got, I got paper towels. You, of course you do, Dad. Yeah, Dad's got paper towels. Knocked over a little beer. Nothing crazy. Yeah, man. That's but, what the podcast table's for. It's fine. But yeah, man, I was like... You gotta be fucking kidding me, buddy! <laughs> so funny, man. He just looked through your costume. Yep. <laughs> but it was good. It worked. It was. It was a good costume. I didn't go to a party or anything. I guess I. I. I want to. I'm gonna save that costume for like a party situation. It's really. Yeah, it's one you should pull out again. That's cool. You know, a lot of cosplay seems like uncomfortable. Oh yeah, no. This is like just. That's clothes a, I would normally wear. Yeah, that's a great, <laughs> like, you just wanted to throw that on at Comic-Con one year. That's killer, you know what I mean? But, yeah. But you have to want to stop and pose for a photo with everybody in the Javits Center when you do that. And you know what? Honestly, um, it's... Like, I like to go to cons dressed like Jake Blues and stuff. Like, I... I, I with a mask on? There's no... I just I look like a Hasidic guy walking around the Javits, like, like, like. There's no like, like. All right, so if you dress like Quint walking around with, with a mask, you just, you're not Quint with a yeah for COVID, like a COVID man, not a Halloween. No, mask. yeah, I'm talking about COVID. You have to mask up, like you can't walk around. Yeah, you couldn't cha- walk around Comic Con. It changes it. I was just at Comic Con, had to wear a mask, and you know what? Speaking of Comic Con, everybody was Sub Zero this year. <laughs> 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 well, 
<laughs> all the Harley Quinns were dressed like Sub Zero. I couldn't believe it. Now you know what? There was a million Lokis, like the variants, the Loki variants. Oh, everybody okay. was a Loki variant. Well, now everybody looks like a Loki. Yeah, I look like a Loki. I look like a Loki. I'm a, I'm like the alligator one. <laughs> It's the best Loki. It's the best Loki it's of a all. Good Loki. No, I like Old Man Loki a lot. Yeah, Old Man Loki was pretty yeah, cool. Old Man Loki's great. So yeah, at Comic Con, I picked you up something, and I, I never got a chance to give it to oh, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I brought it with me. Okay. All right. Now this might echo uh, like a little back towards our older episodes of the show, maybe some first season stuff. Ooh, first but, season. And they, there was no first issue, so I got you the second issue, but. Harriet Tubman, Demon Slayer. Yeah, Harriet Tubman kills demons. Oh my god! Oh, it. Oh. So if you don't know this, we we actually had we, Harriet Tubman on our podcast. Harriet Tubman's a good friend of mine. Yep, I keep in touch with Tubman. She's a good lady. Yeah, she's on LinkedIn. So the <laughs> <laughs> we we know a Harriet Tubman what? impersonator. Well, not, like she's a historical. Wait, <laughs> Harriet Sorry. Tubman. Sorry to- Sorry to break the <laughs> the fourth wall. Wow, she's um, kicking ass in this, and we we learned. I mean, yeah. the real Harriet Tubman did was a she fought man. She yeah, was, she was a tough lady. Yeah. So the guy who writes this comic book, Harriet Tubman, Demon Slayer. At first, I saw it, and I was like, "You gotta be kidding me!" I was like, "I'm gonna buy this for my buddy. It's gonna blow his mind." And I was like, "You know," I was like. I do a podcast with him and we had on this uh, historical portrayer uh, does Harriet Tubman. And he goes, oh, yeah, I know her. She's also like a cop, right? I said, yeah, I think so. She's an auxiliary cop or a regular or cop. Caught officer or something. She's, something like that. Yeah. He goes, yeah, I like kind of like made fun of her and she pulled her gun out on me. She's nuts. I went, yeah, she's a little nuts. <laughs> My God. Yeah. She, but he knew her. Wait. Yeah. So our friend Harriet Tubman pulled a gun on the guy who wrote this book? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Maybe she thought he was a demon. <laughs> Don't fuck with Tubman, man. I would never. Well, thank you for this. <laughs> yeah, you got it. If I oh, ever see the first issue, I'll pick that up for you, too. It's just, but uh, I'm sorry. You got to start at the second issue. Yeah, I'm going to have to figure out how she got from the <laughs> from the underground railroad <laughs> to, to the to uh, hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Move over, uh, Blade. Wow. There's, and a, it... there's a new a new paranormal fighter in town. Wow. OK. Hey, I couldn't. Was it was it was is the creator? Is he is he a black? Yes. He, yeah, he's a black gentleman. OK, well, good. Yeah. I still don't know if it's okay, but I think that's at least <laughs> I couldn't do it. Yeah, you know. Oh, if you started writing, no, I could. That, yeah, Rosa Parks no, in space, like I can't. Like, what am I, like, <laughs> like, I going to write? <laughs> Please get to the back of the spaceship. <laughs> she just is like, no, she loses her mind. <laughs> no, <laughs> just pulls out lasers. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And yeah. I I we should maybe we should check in with Harriet Tubman and ask about um I'd love to ask her about it. <laughs> that might be too. worth a, a call. Yeah. We could do that. Yeah. That can happen. Yeah, we can make a call through time. I used to ride the, the talk about the underground railroad. I would I would often be on the subway with <laughs> <laughs> Harriet Tubman <laughs> on the way to work. That's no joke. <laughs> yeah. We took the path train. I would take the path train with Harriet Tubman. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Technically is an underground railroad. <laughs> it is. I I'll give you I'll give it to you. I'll Oof. give it to you. Well, I'm glad she's on our side. Me too, man. <laughs> you know? Me too. She's she's a, she's a she's a damn fine lady. Mm-hmm. Good one to know. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, holy shit! Comic Con was it was fun. Yeah, Comic Con. It's Comic Con. I mean, it was it was it was smaller than uh, than usual because it was smaller uh, attendance. They they were letting in like less people, and some of the major companies backed out. 
uh, like Funko, Marvel, DC, like they weren't there. Oh wow! Yeah, Marvel, yeah. DC weren't there. Yeah, all the big companies. The only company who was there was like the guys who make Dragon Ball Z. It was like <laughs> they took over. It was all it was all Dragon Ball Z. I still pronounce it Dragon Balls. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. As far as I can tell, yeah, you can say Dragon Ball Z all you want, but I know it's Dragon Balls. Yeah, I talked to the creator, and he was like, "Yeah, but yeah, but these, you know, no, yeah. you're in on the joke, but nobody else is. <laughs> no one got it. I don't know. Like, if you're a fan of Dragon Ball Z, go for it. It's not my cup of tea. To me, it's just like a lot of like lazy animation and guys who talk like." I'm going to get the thing. Go get the thing. I got the thing. Now we fight. Get the thing. Fight over the thing. It's a thing. Like, that's like, okay. Dragon Balls, go for it. But whatever. Ooh, hey, if you if you like Dragon Balls, call 781 Pod Slap, 781 763 7527. Give us the business. I had a roommate yeah. who loved it, and I. Yeah, I couldn't watch. But he liked all that stuff. He liked that. He liked the, like, the Speed Racer movie. You know yeah, what I mean? No, like you could keep all that. Could, yeah, he was always like w- watch. <laughs> yeah, all all that stuff. Yeah. Ghost Rider, like that movie, like watch that. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, this keeps getting worse. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah it was a whole category of we were both nerds, but I was just no. Not... Yeah, there's like nerd stuff that's, and then there's like garbage stuff. <laughs> well, to, I mean, to us. Yeah. Well, you know, hey, everyone, every listen. I, I shouldn't knock anything. Everything is uh, uh, something is always somebody's favorite thing. Yeah, it doesn't speak to me. I I don't. I you know I'm not going. I'm not leaving bad reviews or shitting on it. It's not. It's not for me. No, fuck that. There's a no. million flavors out there, man. It's fine. Exactly. But uh, speaking of conventions, before um, so like maybe two episodes ago, we were talking about uh. I was set to go to the Rhode Island Comic Con and uh, Richard Karn. Al Borland. Al Borland. Home Improvement. Yeah. He was going to be there. And I told listeners, uh, which I, I don't think anybody did call in. So whatever. Um, if you if you could think of something weird for me to get signed by him, I would drop the 60 bucks for the autograph. And it would have to, just like the craziest thing we could imagine. That's yeah. what would get signed. But I, I will not be attending the the con. Uh, my buddy, I was gonna go with. He, he's uh, he can he can't make it, so I'm not going alone. Uh, all right. So I well, have one ticket up for grabs, and I got two kids, so that's not it's you not can't going. Do that. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I mean, I I pitched you the I, I pitched you uh, my toolbox, mm-hmm. a flannel shirt. Yeah, yeah. Which is that would be really hard to get signed. That would be. And a, uh, a headshot of Tim Duffy would have been good, too. Yeah, oh, that would be amazing. Yeah. Wow. See, I was thinking of a piece of um, Family Feud merch, but like with Steve Harvey on it. Oh. Or Louis Anderson. Which would be funnier, <laughs> Louis Anderson or Steve Harvey? Louis Anderson with a beard drawn on him. <laughs> 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 yeah that's the yeah that's it yeah insist it's him yeah or, you, or steve harvey in a flannel <laughs> this is totally you <laughs> you know steve harvey will never wear a flannel no they don't, right? they don't really make a lot of purple flannels oh jesus what <laughs> he wears purple he, suits a lot <laughs> Does he? Yeah. Purple suits. Yeah, he dresses like the fucking Joker. You've never seen fucking Steve Harvey. He wears like a purple fedora. Oh, with the hat. The when he whole gets all thing. Out. He looks yeah. like the mask or something. I don't know. <laughs> like that's his thing. It's my Joker costume from when I from yeah. from the tip, when the first Tim Burton Batman came. Yeah. yeah, you're right. That's his thing. I'm okay. Not, not yeah. on the feud so much. No, 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 no. Not so much on the feud. Yeah, but you're in, right. in stand up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That guy, I don't know what it is about. There, there's something that just feels like, always feels like fake. His mustache always looked fake. <laughs> you think that thing's, you think he like peels it off and? Yeah, I think he takes his teeth out. I think he takes the mustache oh, off. The whole I think thing. It, I think it's a whole. Yeah, I think he's like a Men in Black alien or something. He doesn't seem <laughs> something <laughs> off about it. So I don't trust him. I don't trust his head. His head just opens up and is like a little alien piloting Steve Harvey. Yeah, it just doesn't. Something's not. <laughs> something's not right. I don't know what it is. I don't trust it. He unzips and it's really Louis Anderson just like stuffed in this Steve Harvey suit. 
Hey, look at me. I'm Steve Harvey. We should go to voicemails, man. We got some calls. Oh, man. Calls with Dragon Ball. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call us about Dragon Balls. I, I didn't mean it. Why not? I want to hear you. I want to hear you tell me about Dragon Balls. I need somebody to sell me on it, you think? Hey, yeah. if you think you can. If you think you can, try me. What if we're missing something? We, we might could, be. It could be. There could be a whole fucking dynamic to this show where you'd be like, oh, you know what? This is. She's kind of cool. It's my like, roommate no. was right. <laughs> no, it's not. It sucks. But we want to hear. We want to hear why you love it so much. Yeah, yeah. So we can. So we can make fun of you. <laughs> Get the call. Call the show. Everybody, call the show. It's a voicemail. Call the show now. Phone call. Gobble gobble. Mm-hmm. That's right. Thanksgiving's coming up. Ooh, Ooh. spooky. spooky. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this Thanksgiving, I don't know what your plans are, but wherever you're going, don't show up empty handed. That's right. Make sure you have something from eggdumpsoup.com. Eggdumpsoup.com, we have all of your Thanksgiving covered for the entire month of November. Only turkey eggs will be used for eggdumpsoup.com. That's right. It's turkeyeggdumpsoup.com. Go to (laughs) turkeyeggdumpsoup.com. And uh, those are some big dumps. Yeah. Actually, don't go. Don't go to turkeyeggdumpsoup.com. No, don't physically go. Go to eggdumpsoup.com. Know that it's calling itself turkeyeggdumpsoup.com. They're using turkey eggs for the egg dump soup, but they don't have the domain a turkey egg. If you go to turkeyeggdumpsoup.com, no. you're not going to get what you're looking for. That's rat poison. That's that's pure rat poison. That's all you're going to get. Japanese rat poison. Do you want to give your family Japanese rat poison <laughs> on Thanksgiving? No, you don't. What's the worst thing you can do? On Thanksgiving. <laughs> Be an American. Go to eggdumpsoup.com. Get your turkey egg dump soup. Don't go to turkeyeggdumpsoup.com. Go to eggdumpsoup.com. No. It's turkeyeggdumpsoup.com. Season on eggdumpsoup.com. God bless America. Here are this week's voicemails. Hola, it's the fart guy. Um, I seen how you just posted, you know, the new episode for Slap, and it's, you know, the My Pet Monster. Well, I remember a stupid thing I did when I was younger. I believe I was walking down the stairs with the My Pet Monster, and I dropped it. It fell like two stairs in front of me. My stupid ass bends forward and fall down the stairs. <laughs> Probably explains... Why I have mental issues. Uh, <laughs> but guys, love you guys. Put it where you shit it. Oh, put it where you shit it. Love you, man. Oh, fart guy. You're the best. Oh, you don't have mental issues. No, and I'm sorry that happened to you. Yeah, but you're, a, also... you're a lovable lunk. Yeah. Like, that's all I call you. I mean, if I could go, listen. It, when I finish my time machine, I'm not going to lie. It might be on the list of things <laughs> I want to go see. <laughs> Oh no! But you know what? We'll put like pillows on the bottom of the stairs. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll catch you. Yeah, it's still gotta, it's still gotta be. Yeah, cute. it's too bad. I, I, I you want to land on your? I just, I imagine like parents at the bottom of the stairs. They see a my pet monster come down first, <laughs> 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 and, and then the kid <laughs> farting on the way down. <laughs> On every step. Every, each step. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. I love you. Oh, no, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> You're our fart monster. <laughs> my fart monster. My fart monster. <laughs> it's like a My Pet Monster, but, you know. <laughs> He's at the bottom of the <laughs> oh, we love you, man. Thank love you. you. No, man. Guess what? Guess who's next? It's that time again. Our buddy, Lil Eddie. Lil Eddie. 
Jingles all, right. all the way. Jingles all the way. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Movies. Tell us about them. Do you like it? Do you like it? Do you like it? Do you like it? Did you not? Show us what you got. Did you like it or not? Tell us right now. Hey guys, it's Little Letty. Uh, I'm just calling. Uh, I listened to the episode that uh, dropped yesterday, um, the day before, whatever. My pet monster one. Oh, there we um, go. Uh, and uh, uh, John, you asked uh, for a progress report um, on on Dune. Uh, and Chris, you wanted to know about that theater in Brooklyn. Uh, it was much more crowded than any of the theaters I've been to on Staten Island. Um, you know, I just I just went there because it was the only IMAX screen that's uh, owned by Regal. Um, mm, yeah, I know. Uh, which that, is, that's why you know, I, the one I have a subscription for. Rogue one, yeah. uh, and it, you know, it was it was fine. There were there were no major incidents. You know, you know. Uh, but uh, uh, as far as Dune goes, I I I've never read the book. Uh, I'd seen bits and pieces of the David Lynch movie on cable, like when I was a little kid. So I didn't really have much context for it. And uh, I, I thought it was fascinating. And this is, uh, this is something like you, you need to see in a theater. Just, it is so visually hmm. stunning. I, I'm hearing. And that. like, like, right. like I'm telling you, John, plop down the money for a babysitter or even just better yet, Abandon your family and <laughs> go to the movie theater and watch this on the biggest screen possible. Wow. Um, All right. Uh, it's, it's, it, it's that game changing. Wow. The, the visual hey. stuff okay. that goes on there. Okay. You know, these desert landscapes. Uh, you know, it's, <laughs> you know, me. this is like, yeah, I, I mean, like personally, like I haven't, felt like this jaw dropped in a movie and the only other two things I can compare it to are like Avatar and like Jackass 3D. Like, <laughs> like, I've, I've been like that awestruck uh, about something I'm watching on the screen. Uh, uh, so yeah, yeah, the theater experience really makes a difference. Um, All right. You may have changed my mind. Uh, Let's see don't, don't watch it at home if you can help it. Like even... Even if you wait and watch it later, it's you're not going to have the same context for wow, it. Wow. Okay. Is 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 if you saw it in a theater. I appreciate that. You know? yeah. yeah. And it's like epic on the level of like Lawrence of Arabia or Ben Hur. Really. You know, or like like Homer's Odyssey. It's like that level. Good shit. All right. Out there and amazing. Wow. So go to my friends. Go to. That is all. All right. Eddie, you know my name. You know my number. Uh, if you want to go see it again, I'll go see it with you. And I, I'd consider seeing it too. Yeah. yeah. Let, let me know. All right. Let's, yeah, because there's, a date. there are those things where, like, like I'm glad I saw that, the, like, Mad Max in the theater. You know what I mean? Like, there's things where it, it, it is amazing to just go see something like that. And, yeah. Hey, if you... You heard it here, folks. If you like Jackass 3D, you're going to love <laughs> Dune. <laughs> yeah. Eddie, c come find me out. You, 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 you all know me. You know how I make my money. Yeah. Thanks, Eddie. Pussy, pussy, pussy pop. <laughs> Hit it where you get it. Pussy, pussy, pussy pop. <laughs> was, well, thank you. Yeah, it was perfect. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, boys. Uh, this is a uh, burger. Uh, not. Uh, yeah, so you said. Right. Yeah. Um, I sent a uh, slash. The flashing <laughs> Bunny Hunter uh, found a inflatable uh, person and is now in Chris's position. Uh, that is actually mine. Um, she is my stepmother 
and her name is Tanish. Uh, I appreciate um, you understand. She's had uh, not, not, not the easiest life. Uh, she's found the hard times. So I thought maybe she could live in uh, this was, uh, uh Let me know. That'd be okay. Uh, I mean, you can keep her, but you know, be good to her. Maybe feed her some applesauce. She likes that. I often feed Gladys applesauce. <laughs> Again, this is the smuggler, not the burglar. <laughs> Let me know. And uh, as they say, in states where the IQs are generally <laughs> average, fit of each other. Spurgler, well, the 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 inflatable person went to Chris. Gladys, Gladys is yours. Yeah. We didn't know her name until now. No, she wouldn't tell me. I don't know, man. Do you want to try to get back to him, or do you want to uh, feed her applesauce? <laughs> nah, I'm not, I'm not feeding her any, <laughs> any any more sauce, John. She's had enough. How's she holding up? Is she all right? Yeah, you know, there's a couple of, you know, like those Ninja Turtle blimp patch kits they'd give you at the yeah. time. She yeah. went through a couple of those. She's, got a, you guys, she, she's been patched up already? Dude, down to tell a dozen machines, bro. <laughs> I had to do it. I had to get a Ninja Turtle patch up there. Well, hey, what are you going to do? You can't, you can't be sneaking around here. Yeah. With yeah. your stepmother. Yeah, listen. This means this was your dad's blow-up doll? Is that what... <laughs> is that how that works? It was his dad's wife. Did you walk in? And you're like, <laughs> Dad! He's like, it's your new stepmother. It's your mother! Get the applesauce! That's <laughs> <laughs> not what it looks like. I was feeding her applesauce! <laughs> 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 oh my god! Yeah, you, you, I'm sorry, Schmergler. You know what, man? I'll, I'll, I'll leave her. <laughs> I'll leave her down in one of the hallways. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll get Schmeeves to come pick her up. Okay. All right. And, you uh, could, you could, you could, you could get him from your buddy Schmeeves. But get in and get out. All right. Yeah. I'll send Gladys. Uh, I'll send Gladys out. All right. Ooh, hey guys, it's little Eddie. I just watched Last Night in Soho, and I liked it. That is all. I don't know Last Night in Soho. Do you? No, I I don't know. I don't think I've 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 uh, I've heard of it. What do you think it could be about? I'm assuming it's it's part of a a series. This is the last one. Yeah, it's first night in Soho. That was the first one. That and was episode one. Then there's Tuesday in Soho. <laughs> then it was Halloween in Soho. That's right. That was the spooky one. Yeah. That one had Queen Latifah. In it. <laughs> <laughs> there's a bunch. Yeah. I I yeah I, I, I <laughs> Soho in the hood. Soho in space. <laughs> Soho goes to camp. I don't know what. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> but I'm glad you're finally on the list. I'm glad you liked night. it, but I'm not going to I am definitely not going to uh I'm not going to start with the last one. No, that would be crazy. Uh let us know, Eddie, which 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 of the Soho movies do I really need to see? Mm. To, yeah. Uh, to appreciate this one. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Yeah, I don't really want to I don't want to watch them all. I do. Hey guys, <laughs> it's Bert. Um, you crazy? I miss you guys a lot. I I'll you. admit I haven't listened in a while, but I listened just uh, this past week. My pet monster, monster, all that jazz, and boy, it felt good. It felt good to hear you guys giggle through for an hour. It was the best. It felt like home. I miss you guys oh, so much. Oh. And yeah, just keeping you updated on current events. Um, George Washington's face actually fell off Mount Rushmore. Yeah, so people have been referring to his uh, Mount Rush list. (laughs) 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 (laughs)
I just broke my brain. <laughs> we love you, man. I love you. I miss you too, Val. Yeah, we got to get you in here. Yeah, we got to get together. It's been too long. Well, listeners, it's it's that time of the night. First of all, if you want to contact the show, 781-POD-SLAP. That's 781-763-7527. That's right. You can email us. You can email an audio message to slap at superliveadventure.com. You can send us some snail mail to Slap Studios. My favorite kind. 536 Park Avenue, number 631 Scotch Plains, New Jersey, 07076. If you like this show, if you enjoyed this episode, whatever app you're listening to the show on, find that share button, send the episode to a friend, spread the word. We want to get more listeners out there. We love you guys. Thank you so much for listening. Yeah, you guys are the best. Until next time, fit it where you shit it. Call the show, everybody, call the show. It's a voicemail. Call the show now.